Many of us will enjoy a Thanksgiving dinner this week, but thousands of families in Dane County wouldn't have a meal without some help. News 3's Danica Lewis brings us one tradition of giving tonight. Danica. Well, Jennifer, there are people at the other end of this generosity that we'll talk about tonight. And tonight we bring you into the kitchen of Gretchen and Victor Talbot, a couple who never imagined not knowing where their next meal was coming from. Luckily, they found somewhere to turn to. We definitely have to get creative. Dinner looks a little different. It's really hot. Hold on. For Gretchen and Victor Talbot. So try that. Now that every ingredient. But it just needs a little something extra. Comes from the food pantry. Our life now doesn't look anything like how I thought it was going to be. Long before they said I do, Victor lived with epilepsy. The condition became so unpredictable that he couldn't work, forcing them to live on Gretchen's part-time paycheck until her health put her out of the job too. It's embarrassing, yeah. okay, and it's not an easy thing to ask for help. I don't have to be the only one responsible for my household, my health, uh, my family. I can lean on somebody else. So the two leaned on each other and on their kids, bringing them all closer together. I wouldn't trade that. It was worth it. Yeah. It was worth it. But when love failed to fill their stomachs, the Talbots turned to the Goodman Center. I got the turkey. Each of these bags has the making of a Thanksgiving meal. Volunteers will hand out 2,500 this year. Have a good day. With hundreds more on a waiting list. It's hard to imagine um, that, that 2,500 families in Dane County wouldn't have Thanksgiving plans uh, if it wasn't for this. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, guys. Hey, have a happy Thanksgiving. It isn't as easy for everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Knowing they're far from the only ones, pulling up for help. We are so very appreciative. Gretchen and Victor now realize life served them up a hefty piece of humble pie. Extra special. And they're thankful for every bite. It just, it changed us, and it changed us for the better. It really did. Amazing couple there. After doing everything he could with medication, Victor underwent brain surgery for his epilepsy in the last few days. Gretchen let me know today that everything went well. He is home from the hospital, and we certainly uh, wish them the best as they continue to deal with everything that life has thrown at them. And we're thankful for them for sharing oh, their it's, story. Oh, it's amazing. I made sure to mention that to them. It takes a very brave and open person to do that. Well, and we want to know, is the Goodman Center still giving out these baskets for yes, anyone who might need them? Absolutely. We mentioned the wait list there, but they are still giving them out until Tuesday. They do need donations, though, to try to make up for the need there, especially turkeys. So please consider buying a little extra this week as you prepare for your own holiday meal to donate to them. And always, always a need over there. We live in a great community. I'm sure oh, people yes. will be stepping up. Danica, absolutely. thanks for sharing Thank that. you. And later this week, Danica will show us the changing face of hunger in Dane County. She'll share the struggles of those in need and the places that serve them, plus some stats she says will shock you. So be sure to tune in Wednesday night on News 3 at 10 for that in-depth special report.